John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do today for you guys is actually we're going to go ahead and attempt to make coconut milk in the Nutramilk uh, nut butter and nut milk baker. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate the Nutramilk with nuts today. I have previous episodes making nut milk and some amazing nut butter actually. With the Nutramilk, I will put links down below to those videos which are more in-depth and comprehensive that goes over everything you want to know about the Nutramilk. Uh, this video is for those of you guys that have seen those other videos and just want to know, John, does the Nutramilk make the coconut milk, right? And so I want to go ahead and explain what, what's going on here. So the Nutramilk was designed from the ground up to process standard tree nuts, you know, almonds, walnuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, Brazil nuts, you know, those nuts first into a butter and then make one amazing nut milk unlike any other that you've ever tried um, because basically it gets the full extraction of the nuts it literally turns nuts into the but butter breaks up all those fibers into small particles and then puts those in water and puts them out the spigot um, you don't have to strain it you don't have to do anything except you know run the machine uh, put things in you know hit go dispense it and you're done right and so I would encourage you guys, you know, uh, nut milk, in my opinion, is way healthier than dairy ever has been or even will be in the future. I would encourage you guys to eat more plant foods, and especially with the big rise of plant food diets recently, you know, it's gotten the Nutramilk really popular. Now, this machine was actually invented by the owner um, of the Nutramilk company who actually is, um, he can't have, like, he's lactose intolerant, actually. And he would go to a coffee shop. And, you know, they had all these, like, non-dairy creamers that he could take, but that he could eat in his coffee. But he didn't want to because, like, they have so many different additives and chemicals and things added to it. He wanted a way that coffee shops could actually make nut milks and ha serve that fresh with their high-end coffees. So this is a commercially certified machine. So if you're going to balk at the price, like, you know, this is a full commercial NSF certified. So if you have a restaurant or a juice bar... In my opinion, this is a no-brainer investment because literally it allows you to turn nuts and then sell those as nut milks. You could actually make nut milks and then combine them with your juices in your juice bar and, you know, have like nut milk juices, you know, and mixtures. And guess what? Making nut milks is cheap because most of you're adding water. Well, I don't add water. I add coconut water. But, uh, you know, and make sure you guys use filtered water. I would, you know. And the other thing, when you make your own nut milks, um, you know, you get to choose the ingredients. You could put your own dates in there. You could put your own sweeteners in there. You could put your different flavors. You could put spices and herbs and just kick the nut milks up to another level. You know, and you don't have to put up with, you know, whatever they add into the nut milk, including many preservatives, okay? Uh, that being said, this is designed for uh, tree nuts. It will also work with some seeds like, you know, sesame seeds. could work with flax seeds, uh, hemp seeds all these kind of things. It also worked with some grains. So like you can make oat milk in here. Actually, oat milk's quite good. You can make rice milk. You can't make soy milk because soy milk requires cooking and soy is a bean, although you can make um, uh, nut milk out of peanuts. So peanut peanut milk, <laughs> right? You can make peanut butter or peanut milk in the Nutramilk. But today we're gonna find out about coconuts. Now, the challenge with the coconuts is that it is not really a tree nut. While we call it a coconut, it's technically a tree droop. <laughs> That's a technical name for the coconut. A droop is kind of in between a nut and a fruit. It's a droop. Yeah, it all rhymes. So anyways, I, I'm not going to give you a lesson in botany today. <laughs> um, but basically the coconut, because it has a much different consistency than standard nuts, although it does have some fat content, it may not process properly. So what Nutramilk recommends... Um, you know, they recommend you guys use the young coconuts. You know, they look like little teepees. I don't have any right now because I, <laughs> I ate them all. Um, but uh, you can use the young Thai coconuts. They also are coming in from Vietnam. They're wrapped in plastic. They're most commonly found in an Asian store, although places like Whole Foods now sells them. And Nutramilk says you can use those Thai coconuts or the young coconuts in here to make a nut milk. And I mean, personally, if you buy Nutramilk to make young coconut nut milk, you're wasting your money, I'll tell you guys that. Because you could just do coconut, young coconut, meat, and water in the blender, blend it up, and it makes the most delicious coconut milk. You don't need this machine to do it for you. Nutramilk won't like me saying that, but I'm saying it like it is. 
Um, but the, the problem is, you know, you can't just blend up the mature coconuts, or actually this is a middle-aged white coconut or a brown coconut in the blender because there's far too much fiber. When the coconuts are young and it has the jelly or spoon meat, you know, you don't really need the screen to separate out any kind of fiber because there basically is none. Now, when you get up to this stage and the coconut gets mid-age mid, mid age or mature, then there's lots of fiber in there, and then you want to extract out just the milk. So when I went to Hawaii at the uh, Polynesian Cultural Center on Oahu, you should go there if you ever visit Oahu, amazing place. The guy climbs a coconut tree, big Samoan dude, he gets down the, the coconut, right? He rips it open with his bare hands, cracks it open, and then basically he grates the coconut on a grater, and mixes it with the water, and then he basically wrings out the coconut milk. I'll never forget that demonstration. And that's how coconut milk is made, basically. It's just the wrung out fibers of the coconut, maybe with some added water, right? And so we're going to see if the Nutrimilk can do that. Now, the other thing I want to point out is, you know, you could save money with the Nutrimilk by making your own coconut milk. And the other thing is you're going to save your family's health, in my opinion, um, from additives and preservatives, right? So for example, these coconuts, I could get these coconuts near me for about a dollar at the dollar store, although sometimes they may cost two dollars near you. You want to make sure you pick a good one and basically you want to shake it and try to find one as full as possible. Um, if, if they're really light, that means they're dried out on the inside, they're be moldy and you want to go to a store that actually turns them over a lot, meaning they sell a lot because if the store never sells them, they probably never go through and they have a lot of bad ones that they are selling you that you'll open up and they'll have mold on the inside that you can't see from the outside. But anyways, uh, you know, if you just buy coconut milk, like this is some KOH coconut milk, this is a health food brand. The ingredients are water, all right, that's decent. Coconut water, all right. <laughs> I mean, I would just put coconut water, not water. It has sugar. You know, I do not encourage you guys to eat extracted sugars when you're making your own coconut milk. You could sweeten it with um, dates or raisins or other dried fruits or the sweetener of your choice. It has coconut cream, which is a highly processed product. It has an emulsifier. It has coconut flavor, like come on man, there's coconut flavor in here. Sodium bicarbonate and a salt and a stabilizer. Like so many different additives, right? And what I've learned in all these years of eating a healthy diet is that we want to really get back to basics. We want to start making our own food, processing our own food at home from real ingredients like coconuts, like coconut water with nothing added. The reason why they add all that stuff is so that Number one, it'll taste good, it'll appeal to consumers, you'll be addicted to it because it has the sugar and the fat in there, you're gonna buy it more, and then it has a stabilizer in there so it doesn't go bad, right? Meanwhile, when you make the coconut milk in a Nutri-Milk, right, you need to drink it within five days, right? Um, you can store it under vacuum, might store it a little bit longer, but you need to make it and drink it before it goes bad, and you know, we wanna actually eat foods that go bad. Anyways, without further ado, I'm chatting too much. We're just gonna go ahead and try it. I've already actually cracked open the coconuts, I've removed the water, and what we have here is we have basically uh, 32 ounces of coconut water right here. And basically we have two coconuts worth of meat that I basically got out of the shell and then cut up into little pieces. So how this Nutri-Milk normally works is normally you would put your nuts in first, right? And that's the first thing that would go in. You'd put like, uh, I mean nuts, would you you'd usually put like uh, two cups of nuts in here. So I have other videos showing that. But in this case we're basically putting two coconut meats two coconut worths of meat in here and just, just dry meat let's go ahead and put the tines down in there and uh, let's go ahead and so how this normally works is you would turn the the nuts first into nut butter okay so you'd run this for you know could be seven minutes could be ten minutes depends on the nuts all this kind of stuff you turn it into a butter first and then the next step after you turn it into butter is then you add the water and then you mix it and then the butter and turns into a milk basically. You know, on other videos where they actually use, you could use dry coconut shreds to make a nut milk, but to me that's like, it's, it's more processed because some of those coconut shreds they could be adding sulfites to and even defatting them so that it might not turn out right. Um, I like to use just the real coconut that I open up myself so I know it's like for reals and we're going to see how this goes. I haven't done this before and I might have to like turn it off and modify but I'll tell you as it goes to let you guys know what happens. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the butter button. It runs for 16 minutes. We're going to go ahead and hit start and I'm just going to go ahead and monitor it see what happens. We'll probably uh, play this in fast forward mode for you guys so you guys can see actually what I'm seeing.
All right, it's been running a total of 16 minutes, and in that time, I'm seeing condensation on the inside, so it must be getting releasing some of the uh, moisture in the coconut. In addition, some of the coconut cream is actually coming out of the screens here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, the Nutra Milk has done a, quite an excellent job of actually breaking down all the coconut. I think I may have put a little bit too much in there. I used two coconuts, so it might be good to use like maybe one, maybe one and a half. Because two, just a little bit too much. It was, the bowl was a little bit too full. And uh, actually, if we just take a look at the texture, I'm checking the texture on the top here. I mean, it's broken down pretty good. I mean, it's done pretty good. I think maybe with uh, like a one coconut, maybe one and a half max would be better. I guess the next step is uh, we're just going to go ahead and scrape that down a little bit. I think because the coconut has still a lot of water content, where normally it's processing nuts without a lot of water content, the coconut didn't tend to mix as well. Plus, I put so much bulk in there because I just, uh, you know, figured I'd do two coconuts because that's my normal recipe when I do it my normal way in a blender and a juicer. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, pour in 32 ounces of coconut water now. This will help out the mixture a lot to break down even further. So now we got 32 ounces of uh, coconut water. We're going to go ahead and put the lid back on. Put that guy back down. And now we're going to go ahead and put into the mix mode. It goes for one minute, but we want to mix it for about five minutes because as much as that first stage did break down most of the coconut, I want to make sure that this is mixed down properly and everything just mixed together and the coconut is broken down even better, which will happen now because there's a lot of moisture or literally water in there, all right? So we're going to go ahead and hit start. And uh, we'll just go ahead and hit this on a uh, fast forward for you guys. All right, so I stopped it after about two minutes. I don't really think we needed the full five, and I do want to comment when it defaulted to 16 minutes for the first step, the butter step. We probably really didn't need the full 16 minutes. After about 12 minutes, that's when I really saw it to start to sink down and a lot of the fibers get broken up so maybe you'd want to go I don't know 13 or 14 minutes and then I do two minutes on the mixing and then I guess the next step is we're just gonna go ahead and dispense let me see what, what uh, maybe I'll use a I'll use this bowl here so we're gonna go ahead and hit the dispense button now it goes for one minute we're gonna hit start turn this on and we're gonna go ahead and see if we got the nut milk alright look at that man fresh coconut milk made in the Nutrimilk yes it does work I haven't tested this or tasted it yet to know how this would compare to like my normal method of using a vacuum blender and then a juicer. You know, I'm sure there will be a lot more pulp left in this machine, um, you know, um, when you're doing the coconuts like this than when you're doing nuts, whereas a lot of the material from the nuts actually go into the milk, whereas in this case, it looks like a lot of the coconut material is just not getting pressed or squeezed out properly. This is where, you know, a nut milk bag would come in, but just due to the centrifugal force, action is not able to get the milk out. I mean, I don't even have 32 ounces of uh, the water that I put in originally. It didn't even all come out because it's still kind of stuck in the middle. So, I mean, um, I don't know. We're going to let this run. Uh, oh, it just ran a minute, and uh, basically we got about almost three cups so we're basically missing one cup of the water that's still inside there let's go ahead and turn that off so um, yeah made three cups instead of four I put four cups of water in plus there's some residual water in the coconut itself um, I know my juicer would definitely extract at least uh, four cups of liquid if I put four cups in and then maybe even a little bit more um, so let's go ahead next thing is to try this milk I mean, that's a good milk. I'm tasting particulate in there, which is something I wouldn't get in this high amounts in with my, using my normal method, my vacuum blender and a juicer. It's good though. I will say it's a little bit thicker actually than how I normally make it. it. Usually when I do the juicer and the blender, vacuum blender makes it a little bit thinner. This is a little bit more thicker, maybe more rich, more full body, but we're missing a cup. So uh, I'm gonna just play with this and see if I can run it more and see if I can get some more liquid out of there. 
I might just end up taking all that sloshy stuff and throw it through my juicer and just press out the rest or actually put it in my pure and press out the rest of the milk there. Um, then we're going to come back at you and then, then what I'm going to try to do next is actually we're going to go ahead and try to turn coconut shreds into coconut butter in the Nuche milk with the nut butter attachment. Alright, so I want to give you guys an update actually. I just ran the Nutri milk for about another three minutes on the dispense mode and during that time basically it extracted centrifugal through centrifugal force through the screen like more um, nut milk. Now I, I can't gauge exactly how much has come out because I drank a bunch out of this and I didn't really see where it was after I drank it. But I mean you can see there, I mean this is the third time I've done this and now I got more milk out so I'm, I'm up to uh, three cups and I probably drank about a cup full through about two mouthfuls. So I mean we're probably right at around four cups, maybe a little bit less, 3.75 so like that. I'm like feeling better that actually we got a good you know, yield because that's how much liquid we put in. We should at least get that out. What I thought I'd do is we're going to go ahead and open this up on camera to see what is left on the inside and what you got to clean. Let's go ahead and pop this guy out. And the thing is when you tip this up, um, whoa, it's a little bit warm on the bottom. Um, I want to try to always angle it down because you'll get a little bit of milk out. And so inside here, if we take out the splines, you'll see the splines. And then inside here, basically, we just have all the coconut mash, basically. And if we touch this, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just basically coconut mash. Can I wring anything out? Yes, yeah, so I can definitely still wring milk out. So it was not 100% efficient, unlike my vacuum blender and juicer, it would get that stuff really dry, they still left it wet, but it did work and this is a one step process whereas if I use my blender and my juicer I have to blend and then I have to feed it in, I have to juice and it takes a process. With this literally you put the coconut meat in there like I showed you guys, you hit go, you literally leave the room, you could do other stuff, you could take care of your kids, blah blah blah, you know, come back when it turns itself off, then you're going to add the water, you know, put it on, you know, mix or dispense for about five minutes let it mix up and then put it on dispense and then let, let it all come out over the next five minutes and then basically you're done and then basically you dump all this hopefully you're composting it clean it up and you're all finished you know so overall this is a lot simpler process to make the coconut milk um, you know this does get warm this is not you know this would I consider this a raw food product I mean I've, if I put my fingers at the bottom it is warm the spline on the bottom of the um, gear definitely was warm to the touch. I had to move my remove my hand from touching it. Um, I'd stay it's still raw, but it did heat it up. And because it is running, literally the blade is running on the coconut to shred it up, cut it up for 60 minutes. Some oxidation is probably occurring, and that's why I prefer, you know, to use my vacuum blender and then use my juicer to extract it in a slower speed, slower process that may make a higher quality coconut milk. I don't have any. I don't have any tests on that yet. Of course, this stuff tastes great, and this stuff will still store easily in your fridge for like five days, and you got to use it within that time, or it will go bad. And this will separate, you know, <laughs> it will separate. If it separates in the fridge, just shake it back up, and you're good to go, all right? So that's that. That's making coconut milk. So I will say in the end of, of this part of the demo, it does make coconut milk. Um, is it optimal like when it makes nuts? I mean it makes an optimal nut, nut milk, right? Because there's very little nut particulate left with the coconut. There's more particulate left, right? Uh, it's a bit wetter. Maybe if you use one coconut instead of two like I did, it'd be a little more efficient and get, wring it out because then all the coconut meat would be near the bottom. But this is just what I did and uh, maybe if you guys do it, maybe half the recipe do one coconut maybe like 16 ounces of coconut water might work a whole lot better, all right? But uh, this is what you got when I'm doing it, because <laughs> I've never done it before, all right? So next, what I want to do for you guys is we're going to go ahead and convert the Nutri-Milk now into a nut butter maker. And that's super simple, super easy. I do encourage you guys when you order the Nutri-Milk, and I would encourage you guys to support me in my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. A link to buy the Nutri-Milk is down below, and I'll put actually the link to the Nutri-Milk, as you just saw set up, plus the extra bonus, the basically nut butter maker. So that basically, this is a nut butter maker. Um, so when you're making nut butters, you could make nut butters in the standard machine, but then you have an extra screen, 
to uh, clean and all this kind of stuff. This does it a lot better. And if you just want to get the Nutri-Milk with this attachment, it's only like $50 extra. So I do encourage you guys to actually spend the extra 50 bucks and get this whole exact setup here for only $50 extra. It's definitely a, a well worth it. Makes uh, makes cleanup for when you're making nut butters a lot easier. And actually, I, I do like the Nutri-Milk uh, for making the nut butters, all right? So put this uh, top on here. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out. And in this case, once again, we are gonna use coconut, but we're not using the fresh coconut, we're using the dry coconut. So Nutri-Milk recommends if you wanna make coconut milk, you can do it with the dry coconut, and how you'll do it is you're gonna use the, the top that I used before. You're gonna put in two cups of the coconut, um, you know, mature coconut meat, um, well, dried, sorry, dried coconut shreds or coconut chips like I got, 100% and you're gonna set it for one minute and just turn it on for butter for one minute and then after a minute you're gonna stop it and then you're gonna add one cup of water, put it on for another minute and then let it run when it turns off then you're gonna add another cup of water, put it on for a minute until you do that six times, until you've added six cups of water to two cups of the dried coconuts and then you could dispense the coconut milk that you're gonna get basically you're extracting the fat and some of the nutrients from the coconut shreds. That being said, you know, I prefer to do it fresh and that's why I showed you guys how to do that fresh. But if you wanna make a coconut butter, then you have to use the shreds, you can't use the fresh stuff because if there's water content in there, it will go bad and it's not gonna be butter. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically pour, actually I have four cups. So I don't know if this is gonna overload the machine or not. <laughs> I like overloading things. Um, but this machine is, is totally commercial, so it can handle the load. But maybe if I put two cups in, it'll work better. I don't really know. Uh, you know, part of the deal is I want to have good quality coconut flakes that have a good fat content. So I know if I open these coconuts, shredded them, and dehydrated them myself, and then there's a high oil content in there, then it would work a lot better than using store-bought coconut shreds, which these are that tend to have a lower uh, oil content you know, that may have been steamed to remove the oil, that may have been pressed out previously to get the oil out, then they're selling you these shreds that are mostly fiber, because I don't know what they're doing, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, put this top on here. Gotta put this handle on the side here. All right, all right there you go. And I guess we're just gonna go ahead and put it on butter and we're gonna run this for like, we're gonna crank up to 25 minutes. I mean, that's I think one of the amazing things about the Nutri-Milk, literally this machine could run for 25 minutes straight. It won't overheat, won't croak, nothing will happen. I mean, this thing is commercial and we're gonna need a lot of time to basically turn these shreds into a um, coconut butter if, if it'll work at all. So anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the other mess and we're just gonna be just running in a fast forward mode for you guys to show you guys what happens. Right, I gotta say that was like uber impressive. Like we probably didn't even need to run it 25 minutes. You could probably run it maybe 20. Now very important, you gotta make sure you guys get coconut shreds or coconut flakes. I use the flakes today with full fat. If it's defatted, this will not work. So, and then you were like, John, you showed it in the video and it didn't work for me. Well, check your coconut shreds, right? You gotta get good quality coconut shreds that actually have the full fat. These were purchased actually at Sprouts Farmer's Market in the bulk section. The other thing is if you make your own coconut shreds, even better, that's gonna have higher fat content than even the ones you buy. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and show you guys what we got. Now, this mixture is warm. I will forewarn you, I probably ran it longer than I needed to because I wanted to make sure it worked <laughs> and show you guys the results. And uh, here is the results, right? We're gonna go ahead and remove this guy off and look at this. This is like literally a butter. This is totally pourable. Look at that. That's totally crazy, totally amazing. I mean, it does not get any more buttery than this. I mean, this is like, this is like liquefied butter. Whoops, there goes the, there goes the blade. <laughs> All right, so yeah, half a pound of the coconut shreds literally turned into, uh, you know, little pretty much liquid coconut butter. That's because it's warm now. If this solidifies and gets, you know, uh, cold, because it's winter time right now, it'll definitely harden up. 
um, and then you have to heat it up a little bit above like I think 70 degrees to get it into a liquid format. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and taste a little bit just on a spatula here. I mean look at that. That is butter. It's like totally insane. The cool thing about the Nutri-Milk is you know you, you could do mixtures. So you could do like macadamia nut with coconuts. You could do macadamia nut, coconut, butter. You, you know once it's buttered up then you can go into the next step which I didn't do today. You could like add in uh, dried fruit so you could like put in some raisins once it's to this stage blend in the raisins once it's done and then you could have now a sweetened nut butter sweetened by uh, fruit which is like super healthy you could put some turmeric powder some cinnamon powder actually I like the cinnamon some nutmeg some like uh, you know whatever uh, pumpkin pie seasonings uh, you know you could basically spike it however you want it that's the amazing thing about the Nutri-Milk is that literally you are in control when you are processing your own foods and I think that's main, the big main benefits of the Nutri-Milk. You know, it puts you in control, you get to exactly put the ingredients you want, you make them fresh, nothing tastes better than fresh. I mean, oh my god, this is so insane, look at that. I mean, that's like, that's like liquid butter. <laughs> oh my god, it's like the best coconut butter I've ever had. It's like the super freshest. Super good, yeah. Yeah. Eat coconut butter instead of real butter. I mean, you guys could spread this on your toast. Any way you'd use butter, you could totally use this. I mean, it's basically like it's liquid. You could actually use this as a creamer to add to your coffee. Not that I recommend drinking coffee. I mean, you could probably drink this straight, but it's like super rich, right? But uh, anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the demo today. So what did we learn in this demo today with the Nutri-Milk, all right? So we learned, number one, yes, it will make the coconut milk with real coconuts. Um, you know, we probably, I, I probably ended up, I'll, I'll probably say that actually I like the process because it's super easy. And there's some learning curves, you know, and especially once you get it, you may want to emulate my recipe. You may want to add more water. You may want to add less water. You may want to put in like less coconut meat. I wouldn't put any more coconut meat in there than I did. Maybe if you added more water, it would, the process would work better. It would it'd do better on the mixing step. I mean, and that's the thing, you know. When you get a machine, it's up to you to experiment and find out what works, what doesn't. And hey, if you learn things that I didn't show in this video, because this is the only time I ever used it for coconut milk, um, post down below your comments so you can help other people, you know, that have a Nutri-Milk that have experimented and, uh, you know, processing their own foods into uh, milk and also the butter. So, yeah, overall the coconut um, milk worked good. Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to stick to personally the way I do it in the vacuum blender and the juicer at this time uh, just because I get a higher extraction, although I, I will say that I think this the milk created in the Nutri-Milk because the fibers are broken down a lot more uh, than is normally done in my blender because I don't only use, I only use your blender maybe like a minute max and this ran to really break down those fibers like for a long, a long time. Um, it w wasn't quite as like, this is a lot more creamy milk and then I did end up actually straining all the little bits out, so then I have like the pulp free, and there wasn't a whole lot of um, you know particulate in there that I strained out. So overall, that worked really good. And then I will say the butter actually worked even better than I expected. I didn't really expect it to like literally turn into like a liquid, but this worked better than I could even imagined. So if you want to make coconut butter, I mean this is probably this is probably the best appliance that I've come across that I've used so far to make the coconut butter. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use a juicer, although I have done that in the past. This definitely makes the best coconut butter. It'll also make coconut milk, but I kind of prefer the other method. Uh, you know, uh, it takes less time also. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, I would encourage you guys to support me in my work. If you are buying a Nutri-Milk, you could buy that at DiscountJuicers.com. Uh, your purchase at Discount Juicers allows me to continue to pay my light bill, you know, buy the produce so I can make these demos and share the guys my wealth of knowledge and experience that I've had you know, processing all these plant foods over the last 20 odd years that I've been doing this and also being able to share these appliances with you so that you guys could process your own food at home. And that's really why I do these videos to, you know, educate you guys on how you guys could do it yourself because doing it yourself is always better than letting a big corporation do it for you when they're going to do things that are beneficial for them like add preservatives and add sugar that in my opinion are not so good for you. All right. Um, also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want me to do more videos, trying to experiment with the Nutri-Milk, making all kinds of weird, funky nut milks, um, thumbs this video up. Also, put some comments down below on what you like 
me to make in the Nutri-Milk next. Um, also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes I've coming out about every uh, five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning or what new appliance I'll be demoing on my YouTube channel. Also, make sure you click the little bell so you get notified when those videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 500 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you and sharing with you guys the best appliances. You could incorporate more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and even nuts and seeds like the coconuts in your diet for better health. I will put a few links down below to some videos I've done with the Nutri-Milk in the past that go into further, you know, just basically using it to make nut milks and standard nut butters. It's one amazing machine, and I think it is valuable if you guys are actually going to use it. So, like, if you drink nut milks a lot and you're trying to get your family off dairy, invest in one of these guys, no-brainer. You know, if you buy a lot of nut butters and you make peanut butter sandwiches for your kids, buy one of these so you guys can make pistachio nut butter, macadamia nut butter, walnut butter. You know, you could you could spike your walnut butter with flax seeds and increase the omega-3 content in there, right? Definitely worth it. But if you're one of those people like me, like I don't eat a whole lot of nut butters, I don't make a whole lot of nut milks, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know that I'd go out of my way to buy a Nutrimilk. But, you know, for those of you guys out there that will really use this and benefit from it, I'd say go for it because this machine will pay for itself in no time at all, all right? So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.